So this is gonna be a quick follow-up review for the Anchor 767 Powerhouse. I've been cycling it for over two months now and I really understand how it works. And there are some things that I love and some things that I hate, so let's get started. So first off, they finally shipped out an expansion battery. I connected it to the main unit and I cycled it with solar. And I did this for over a month every single day. And it unfortunately has a very strange software issue. When I discharge the whole system, the main unit and the expansion battery, and then I try to charge from solar, only sometimes does this actually connect and start charging. This one always charges itself up, but not the expansion battery. Sometimes it takes up to three days for this to actually connect to this randomly and then start charging it up. So for autonomy, that's pretty bad. You can't really use this as an autonomous off-grid solar power system. Next problem I found is that in the mornings when the sun first rises, and if this thing is connected to solar, it's gonna make a very annoying clicking noise. And if you have this thing in an RV or a van and you're sleeping next to it, it's gonna wake you up. I have to disconnect the solar input whenever I'm trying to film these videos. It's pretty loud. Now this unit can only charge off of AC or from a solar panel. So what I'm thinking is that it has a preference for the AC input. And then whenever it's trying to switch over to solar, it has some type of switching mechanism, and then it realizes that it's not enough current, so it switches back. And then it switches and switches back, and it does it for like an hour straight. And it's very annoying. Hopefully in the next model, they'll make it so that you can charge from AC input and DC input at the same time. Next small complaint is the display turns itself off too quickly. I really wish there was an option in the app to keep this on for longer. Next issue is the inverter will not wake itself up even if solar power is available. There's no option in the app. I really hope they can stand apart from the competition by actually adding that feature. Even EcoFlow and Blue Eddy still do not have this basic feature. I actually emailed them a week ago telling them that they need to add this now. It's been like multiple years now and they still haven't added a basic feature. So hopefully somebody can come to the market with that. Now these downsides are pretty crucial. If you're trying to have this in a van or an RV and it's clicking all day and it can't turn this thing back on when solar power is available, it makes a lot of it very unusable. I mean, think about how much this thing costs and it won't wake itself up. That's just crazy. And one of the big features of this unit is how quiet it is. The inverter is dead silent even under large loads. But that doesn't matter much if it's clicking for an hour straight every single morning. With that said, I don't see this as an off-grid solar power system, unfortunately. They almost got it right, and I think they can fix these issues, but for now, I would not recommend this as an off-grid solar power system. Now let's talk about the good stuff. This thing is actually pretty awesome on its own. Not with this, not connected to solar, but as a battery backup system for powering tools in my backyard, I love it. These wheels are a good size and I drag them through rocks and sand and I actually use this thing all the time. Also, I'm actually running lights for my videos with this unit. The main reason I'm able to do that is because it's very quiet when the inverter is on. Not when it's charging and not in the morning, but as a standalone unit, when it's not charging, it's dead silent. I can charge my cameras from it, I can have big lights, I can do everything I need for these videos. It's actually so good that I've taken the EcoFlow Deltas out of my shop. I've done enough testing on them, they work well. You guys have already known from my review videos what I just like about them and this replaces all of them and it's very small so in my workshop is a mobile battery I actually really like this thing next I like the inverter output for the size this thing can output 2,400 watts which is plenty for a small portable battery I mean that's incredible compared to the competition next this is my favorite portable power station design it is the highest quality case and I think it blows away everyone else where the wheels are located and the handle and how easy it is to move around, I really like it. These handles are very easy to use and anyone can use it, I love that. Now moving forward, if they make a larger unit that actually fixes all of the problems I complained about, you would have a fantastic off-grid solar power system for mobile application for like RVs and vans. But they're not quite there yet, but I'm very hopeful. This is actually pretty awesome. Now that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any other complaints on this unit, please list them in the comments section below. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.